are these people? So I've gotten uh, super into the band lately. Uh, that was someone I just kind of realized, like, you know, I've never really um, like delved into their stuff much. I know a couple songs, but there's um, there's a music journalist, uh, Josh Terry, who I saw a tweet of his talking about like talking to some dudes in a bar about the band. And, uh, and I think he may have mentioned this song, um, but I listened to a couple of their songs. It's like, Oh shit, I get it. And uh, he recommended to me, cause I messaged him. I was like, Hey, I started listening to the band, you know, off of your tweet. And he recommended the particular live album off of me. And I hate sounding like a, a grateful dead fan right now, but their live stuff is so much better. And their particular live stuff. I'm already like, Oh, the, the likes, you know, the 71 version at whatever is like, is the pristine version of this song. Like it's very much one of those, but <coughs> come to find out that uh, a lot of music historians uh, contribute the Beatles and Stones drifting in kind of an Americana stripped down tone direction to the band's self-titled release because Beatles and Stones were both ad admitted huge fans. Um, the more I read about it, like uh, um, George Harrison said that his solo album, like most of the songs he wrote with, with Levon Helm's voice in mind, the singer from the band that like, he just kind of pictured it being their songs. And uh, there really is, if there was a Venn diagram of the Eagles, the Beatles and the Grateful Dead, the band is kind of right in the middle. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I would put uh, Clapton, Clapton somewhere mixed in yeah, there too. Yeah, um, but it's almost like sometimes it's like you asked the Grateful Dead to write you an Eagles song. Sometimes it's like you asked the Eagles to write you a Grateful Dead song. But yeah. <laughs> either way, it's uh, yeah, it's just really fucking good. Um, I love a band too that you know multiple members in the band, uh, the band uh, all sing, so you get kind of different vocals, and then the harmonies are fantastic. But this was the song that. I, I first listened to and right away I was like oh I'm sold like I can't just inject this into my veins and I have this has been my first thing in the morning hopping on the forklift time to get trucking kind of song um I, I could not love this song anymore uh so big shout out to Josh Terry for um for introducing me to the band because it was at the perfect time I really needed this so uh this is Ophelia <laughs> Oh, 
song. And that's Ophelia by the band. I was gonna say, and what's that song called? Oh, just kidding, because because <laughs> you know I'm gonna do it. Well, not only that, but it, they say it like he, he says it like the entire song. So I would guess it would be Ophelia. Yes, that that's 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 outstanding. 